Please, man of God, help my son. He has permanent steel erection since December 25th. Man of God, help my son. Please, man of God, help me. I'm having permanent erection since December 25th last year. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. What happened to you? I slept with prostitutes, the man of God. You went yeah. to a prostitute? Yes. How much you pay? 500, man of God. <laughs> mm. Cet homme se plaint d'érection permanente. Yeah, stand up. Stand Et l'homme de Dieu lui a dit que parce qu'il couche avec les prostituées, il a confirmé que cela est vrai. Qu'il a payé la prostituée 500 naira. Et c'est comme cela qu'il a maintenant ce problème d'érection permanente. Nous voyons sur la délivrance du Saint-Esprit. Ese señor que tiene problemas de erección permanente después de acostarse con prostitutas, ese problema que tiene una erección permanente, está recibiendo su liberación en el nombre de Jesús. Y ahora, en la puissance de nuestro Señor Jesucristo en acción a través de la facultad del hombre de Dios, profeta de Joshua. Vemos el poder de Dios en acción ahora mismo, esa liberación de ese hombre que que tiene erección permanente, vemos ahora la, la liberación en el He's nombre free. de Jesús. Take him to the toilet, take him to the toilet. After Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for him in the power of the Holy Ghost, he instructs him to go to the toilet and urinate the poisonous substance that held his manhood. Glory be to God, he is free in Jesus' name. I told him to go and urinate, that is the poison that holds the penis. That is a poison. No more pain. The pain is now down. No more pain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My son is free. Thank you, Lord. The pain there is gone. That is a poison that stopped. With that, he will not be able to urinate. Now he has urinated. It's gone. A little while after the prayer of Prophet T.B. Joshua, Mr. Kiranwa Sunday returned to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to testify of how Jesus Christ had completely healed him from the problem of a permanent erection. The picture of tension and discomfort on the left side of the screen is an obvious difference to the young man smiling on the right-hand side. It is clear to see that something has changed in his life after the prayer of Prophet T.B. Joshua, the young man, seen bent double on the left, poses to show the painful permanent erection visible even with his underwear on. While on the right, the healed young man reveals his healthy body without any strain or discomfort, thanks to the miraculous healing he received in the name of Jesus Christ. The sickness and tension which had invaded his life has been replaced with good health and relaxation by the grace of God. Mr. Sunday even taps his private parts to show that he feels no more pain or discomfort and that God has restored him completely. To God be the glory. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We can see the young man in our midst right now, full of joy, and uh, we want to listen to their testimony. Brother, you're welcome. Please introduce yourself to us and the gentleman beside you. My name is Akinwa Asundi, and the person beside me is my father. My, the problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was permanent erection for the past five months. What happened really that day is that me and my friends, we went out together. So I now went to go and meet with a prostitute. So when I'm through with the prostitute, I came back home. After coming back home, I went to the kitchen to go and eat. So after I finished eating, I went upstairs to go and to the toilet. So for me to step outside from the toilet, a huge breeze now fell on me. So I fell down. I collapsed immediately. Unfortunately, I discovered myself the second day in a state specialist hospital. When I wake up, I discover I'm having pains all over my body. And I discover that I'm having a permanent erection there. So when this sickness started, 
I'm having serious pain. I can't even stand, stand up immediately from the bed. In which they gave me different medications, injections, but the thing doesn't go down. So the doctors in the hospital now said, I have to undergo an operation in which my father rejected it. And after my father rejected it, they now said they have to discharge me. So after I was discharged, I was taken to different churches for prayer. When I go to different churches, there is no changes. My father now said, he's watching Emmanuel TV always now, that this kind of condition has already happened last year, that the man of God saw it. So he said we should come down to the synagogue church of all nations. Okay, brother, just, just before you describe what happened when you came here, could you just tell us for that five months that you were having this permanent erection, just, just giving us an idea of the kind of pain that you were having at that period? Oh, the pain is very terrible. Immediately I woke up from the bed. I can't, st I'm, I can't stand up. I can't, to sit down also is a problem. Even when I'm lying down, it's also a problem. I'm, I'm having pains all over my body. Because I can't withstand the pains. I can't go out. I can't put on anything. So for that five months, you were basically in your house, unable to move out, unable to do anything because of the severity of those pains. Yes, I can't move out. I can't do anything at all. I'm only lying on the bed for the five months. So when I was brought down here to the church, immediately the man of God laid his hand upon me. I discovered my manhood organ was shaking. Immediately I felt there was a breeze on me. So... The pains move out of my body immediately, and the man of God told me to go on urinate that I will re that the poisonous venom will be removed immediately. So immediately I urinated, and the pains were down immediately after the urination. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we want you to explain again, brother. You mean as the uh, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, began to pray for you, physically your your private part actually began to vibrate as the spirits of God started touching you. Yes, it began to vibrate. It was very shaking, as if there are some, there, there are some objects inside it. So I just give glory to God. And then afterwards, we saw that you urinated out this poisonous substance. Now tell us, ever since that encounter two weeks ago here in the Synagogue Church of All Nations, what has happened? After I passed out those urinations, all the pains left me alone. I don't, immediately, all the pains went down. I don't feel any pains. And immediately, the permanent erections go down. Go down little and little and little. And it's already down now. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We listened to our brother. He said after he urinated out that poisonous substance, the pain left and slowly but surely that permanent erection began to reduce until the point where it was no longer a, a problem to him. It was normal. Since then, his erection has come down and he's now living a normal life. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. So you mean to say, brother, that the pain is gone. You've been walking, moving around, eating freely, sleeping well since that deliverance. After the day I was touched by the man of God, I slept like a baby overnight. So immediately I can walk around, I can jump, I can do all, all sorts of things I can't do before. So I give glory to God. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Just, just to the glory of God, can you just show us the things you can now do that you couldn't do before uh, and just quickly move in our midst to show us? Before I can't walk, now I'm walking freely, I can't jump, now I'm jumping, I can exercise myself now, so I'm free, I give glory to God. Before I can't even touch it, now I'm touching it, this is it. Uh, hallelujah, glory be to God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We can see something that we would understand, uh, especially the men in our midst will understand it would be impossible for our brother to have touched the area in that manner uh, with the permanent erection, but we can see him tapping the area without any pain, walking freely, even jumping in the midst of the people of God to testify that indeed he is completely healed. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So right now we want to hear a quick word from your dad, uh, uh, what he has to say concerning the wonderful deliverance in the life of his son. 
So you're welcome. Please introduce yourself to us and tell us what you're doing for a living and tell us uh, more about the wonderful testimony we've heard from your son. Emmanuel. My name is Akini Wauriola. I come from Oktipaondo State, Nigeria here. I want to mention, I am the Deputy State President of the State NAPMED. The boy stand beside me is my son. What actually happened on the 25th of December 2016, when we came back from church, the, guy, the boy went out. In the evening, the mother continued calling me. I said, what is the problem? You have two mature sons at home. If it is generator or fuel, they should go and get it for you. So the call is coming continuously. I now pick the call. Well, I continue here shouting, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Let, I took my right hand, come back home. On getting home, I met my the young one that is in Uniben. Struggle with this one. What's the problem? I don't even, I'm so confused. I later took him down to a specialist hospital of Tepa. On getting there, they now battle with it. We don't know what actually happened. So the second day, we now discover that the guy have a standing narration. So after a lot of medication here and there, we sit down, we sat down with the, some of my friends there and my close friends about this boy, what could we do? They now said, it's better the boy should go undergo surgery. I now say, wow, this is over 48 hours. And anything after 48 hours is 50-50. And I've been watching Emmanuel TV. Last year, a similar thing happened here, and God delivered the man, the tie rapper. I said, no, my own will not be exceptioned. I have to be here. And I believe this will, this will be my last bus stop. So I took the boy down here two weeks ago. A man of God prayed for the boy. Today now is 18 of the past. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So just uh, tell us, uh, since that two weeks that your son received his healing here, what are the changes you've seen and what can you testify about him as a father? A lot of changes. You know, I divide the uh, semester for him. The boy is a student of the uh, Federal University of Science and Technology, Akure Futa. Because of this problem, I have to defer semester for him. So that one is there concerning the education. Then about the activities, formally is more or less a person. To move, to eat, to do anything is zero. Because uh, of the pains, severe pains. And the more the thing worry him, the more the boy will down, down, down every day. Sometimes we struggle with it, wrestle with it, and slum. We continue rushing him to general hospital, the specialist hospital. But today now, it's a new dawn to him. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God Almighty. And so what is your word of advice to our viewers, especially you introduced yourself as someone in the medical field. We know that you tried your best medically to treat such a case, even to the extent of preparing for an operation. But to the glory of God, you came here and Jesus Christ intervened. So what is your word of advice to viewers all over the world? Thank you, sir. Uh, I can see this is a big lesson to the young one anyway. Because uh, when your father sends you to school, it's better you be focused and concentrate and walk as if everything depends on you and pray as if everything depends on God. Thank you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And let's just hear a final word from our brother. Uh, what is your own word of advice? You heard it from your father just earlier, a word of, a, a warning for young ones out there. Uh, as someone that has passed through this amount of pain for five months after meeting a prostitute, what is your own word of advice to our viewers all over the world? My word of advice to the youth one outside there is they should stop anything adultery or fornication. They should move closer to God. In any situation they are, they should run to God, not to run back from God. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time.